What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, the return of one of the best exotic pieces of armor in Warlock history has returned with the Curse of Osiris. And that, my friends, is the Ophidian Aspect. If you don't know the history of the Ophidian Aspect, then I'll give you some knowledge. In Destiny 1, the Ophidian Aspect was pretty much a godsend exotic for the Warlock on every single subclass until Bungie actually nerfed it. Even after they nerfed it, this exotic was still pretty good. Back then, the Ophidian Aspect's main perk was called Viper Totemic, and before Bungie nerfed it, its main perk read, improved energy drain, and weapons ready and reload very quickly. This in turn gave these gauntlets quick draw, a little boost to ADS, and very high reload speed on all weapons, no matter what it was. It also came with Snap Discharge, which increased melee attack speed, and energy projection, which increased grenade throw distance. Now, it didn't matter if you were a Voidwalker, Sunsinger, or Stormcaller, this exotic was amazing on every single subclass, but then it was nerfed, and the immediate ready effect for quick draw and the ADS was pretty much long gone, and they both were slowed down. However, in Destiny 2, some of those original perks have returned. Let's take a look at the gauntlets. Its intrinsic perk is called Cobra Totemic, which, weapons ready and reload very quickly, melee range is extended. And then we next we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, as well as Plasteel Reinforcement Mod. And I actually put Void Ordinance Mod on mine. So here is what switching weapons in Destiny 2 looks like with and without the Ophidian Aspect on. Here is what it looks like reloading. And here is what it looks like when you ADS. Now ADS times is only marginally improved, maybe like a few frames or so, but a few frames or so really matters in things like Crucible if you are an accurate shot. So, what does the return of the Fit-In Aspect mean for the Warlock in Destiny 2? Well, now that the Karnstein armlets have been nerfed, the Ophidian Aspect has its spot back as the top tier exotic for Warlocks. Given that we get quick draw back for every single weapon, and even faster reload speed for every single weapon, and if you are one of those Warlocks that like to see the whites in the eyes of your enemy through their helmet as they die, then the increased melee range is a great addition. I mean, how is this fair to any other class like the Hunter or Titan? Truthfully, it's not. However, even though this exotic has extended melee range, it's nowhere close to the Synthoseps extended melee range for the Titans. But, you can easily get in and out of gunfights with ease in PvE and in PvP. Let's take the raid for example. Let's say you have no Titans, or other Warlocks with the Lunification Boots. How many times does it take you to reload on a Kallus fight? A minimum at least 5 times if you are using rockets. Now with this exotic, your DPS dramatically increases due to the fact that you can get your weapons reloaded faster and back into the fight. But what about PvP? The readying your weapons and the reload help out a lot there as well, but the melee range is what takes the cake. And yes, you can have your cake and eat it too. This is the exotic for Destiny 2 that Warlocks have been waiting for in order to get that speed like we had in Destiny 1. The Amphidian Aspect is definitely Tier 1 for the Warlock if you focus more on your shooting game versus your abilities, but that is not saying that you can't combo this exotic with other abilities. If you focus more on your abilities to get kills, then I would suggest the Nezarak Sin as a second choice, and maybe even Eye of Another World as a third choice if you want a universal exotic. Now I plan on doing a completely new updated Voidwalker Warlock build that showcases my subclass, armor, stats, and it will feature this exotic so stand by for that. So what do you guys think of the Ophidian Aspect? Do you agree with me that they are indeed one of the best exotics for the Warlock, or would you prefer to use other exotics? Let me know in the comments below. And that fellow guardians brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you guys have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.